the Lord said, this is stopping my people from going into this year the way I want them to. I want us all to stand up. Now, he said this to me. He said, you're going to have to tell them they're going to have to make the statement that they say at least 10 times a day about two and one day. They're going to have to start turning that statement into a moment. And I'm going to start with you. That about two and one day is beginning to align this year. And all those things I have shown you, now hear me carefully. All those things I have shown you are going to become moments. Therefore, if you keep saying about to and one day, you're going to miss your moment on your path. He said, my people are entering a vision zone by the end of Feast of Tabernacles. And I want them to see. Therefore, I am going to start awakening them, calling them up higher, and bringing them into new steps of reality. So about to, and one day becomes now. The Lord says, Look at your about to's and one day's that I have given you over the last 70 years and look at them carefully because I'm going to start, start showing you the moments they are to become. And I want you to see those moments. Faith is becoming my action line in the earth this year. And I will use you to be a demonstrator of that action line. Hello and good evening everyone. Here is the Kinza Maksoldu. And today I want to tell you some important uh, things. So God gave me and... Uh, these revelations I uh, could want to tell you and these are very important uh, the first of all is the build fire not excuses understand that you cannot burn for God if you are living with excuses so try to don't uh, excuses and build fire in your life if you always uh, excuses uh, make excuses uh, uh, for uh, reading bible and uh, and praying so you always least in your life and you lost in your life so prayer is very important god is very important he gave you a life so you gave your time to God he heal you help you and restore you so don't make a uh, excuses build fire in your life because God's fire is more important in your life uh, you make your uh, first purity is the Jesus Christ and his prayer and his life if you want to 
prosper in your life make first purity of God if you want to peace in your life make first purity make God's first purity in your life if you if you if you want er, everything in your life whatever you want you make first purity you make God's first purity in your life then you then you uh, uh, then he will give you everything and second point is that now that someone can spark your fire for God, but you need to add fuel to that fire. God gave you fire, but you uh, you need to daily fuel for his fire. You need a daily oil in your life to your fire is built in your in your life. So, uh, so that uh, the oil is the Holy Spirit. 